Well, there's a shocking new study on prostate screenings for men. The British Medical Journal now finding that there isn't much difference between those who are screened and those who are not. Uh, joining us now is Dr. David Samadhi of the Fox News Medical A team. And uh, Doc, it's always good to have you, but what can we learn from this new study? Does it say anything about prostate cancer in our screenings? Kelly, you've got to be very careful when you read these studies. At the first glance, you would think that PSA screening may not help, but as you dig in more, you realize that PSA screening over the last 20 years has saved many lives and it's very important. This is a study that was done in Sweden. They looked at a group of patients and the first six years there was really no PSA done. It was only prostate exam, which we know it's not very accurate. So there are some shortcomings from this study. What we know for prostate cancer screening is that knowing your PSA is extremely important. It's in the information that you want to have, what you do with it, and how you follow it is very critical. Not every elevated PSA needs biopsy, not every prostate cancer needs treatment, so you really have to individualize the care, look at that patient, and look at his data, and then make the decision. We have learned that over the last decade, the number of prostate cancers that have spread to the bone, not necessarily death, mm -hmm. has been reduced by PSA screening. Just like mammogram, just like colonoscopy, PSA screening has been very effective. You need to know that information. I always encourage people, especially if they have life uh, family risk, to check that at a baseline at the age of 40 and then five years after every year. Detected very early, that's the main thing. I think the big discussion, absolutely right, early detection saves lives. And that has been a big debate between the medical community and the urologist. And, and that's really when the patients really get confused. Make sure you get your PSA, follow it, talk to your doctor about your family history, talk about the velocity or the speed that the PSA is going up, and always get a second opinion. But well, PSA screening absolutely helps. And, and when we hear studies like this, and of course you address it at the top, but let's reiterate that. This should not prevent people from getting testing. And, and does this study do that? Well, the take-home message is not to walk away from any kind of screening. The, take, the, the cost of it is an issue, and we see that at, you know, for screening, you have to screen a lot of people to find those patients. What's the value of that particular patient that we found to have prostate cancer? There's no value for it, and that's why we do this screening. So just make sure that you get your test, always talk to other doctors, and find out what exactly that means for you. It's so important. It's so important because of prostate cancer being such a leading cause of death among men. We've talked about this. It's we a have. silent cure. There are no symptoms. You never know that you have prostate cancer. And even more important, Kelly, there are some prostate cancers that are low risk and some that are high risk. And so you really have to be aggressive with those high risk prostate cancers because it saves lives. When you catch it early, the cure rate for prostate cancer is very high and you're talking about the quality of life. Once it spreads to the bone, it's a nightmare, and, and really patients suffer from this. Yeah, the treatment itself can be difficult at that point in time. Dr. David Zamati, thank you for keeping us thank informed. Thank you so much.